Say cheese. Solemnly swear, I solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate, to evaluate each barbecue meat, each meat that, is that is presented to my eyes, my, eyes, my, nose, my nose, my hands, my hands and, my and my palate. I accept my duty, accept my duty to be an official 33rd annual Kansas City Barbecue Society sanctioned Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue Judge. So that truth, justice, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. I run your oath, do a great job. Thank you. Uh, gosh, 33 Invitational uh, Jack Daniels Barbecue here. This is incredible. It always is. Always look forward to it. Seeing the same faces, checking on everybody year after year. I mean, that's the beauty of this thing. It's like a big family reunion. Uh, we started off as we usually do with, with the sauce. And I would have put any one of those on any meat that I have. Um, I tend to like a, a thicker, sweeter, kicker type sauce. I want a kicker at the end of my sauce. And most of them had it. Most of them had it, and the ones that did got uh, got high scores. The ones that didn't got a little bumped down. Okay. Just a chance. Here we are, where we are, what day? We're at the uh, 33rd Jack Daniels uh, Festival, bar uh, barbecue festival. Um, all the sauces were delicious. There was two that stood out more than the others, um, and they got my vote. Hi, I'm Julia from Brazil. It's my first time at Jack, and all the sauces were really amazing. I liked you better, too, <laughs> uh, because of the balance of the, all the seasonings and the, the, uh, the flavors. So I'm hoping it's the winner, right? <laughs> All right, everyone wants to hear Leland. No. <laughs> no. Hi, I'm Leland Statham with WTVF News Channel 5 Nashville. Just judge the uh, sauce category, and as always, good stuff there. You could use any one of those sauces on meat, and you'd be good to go. So some great stuff. Thanks, so. Phil Whitaker, a local, retiree from Jack Day of the Steering. I always enjoy working at Jack and also enjoy in judging the Jack also. Very good place. Very good food. Thanks, sir. I'm Danny Lamb, Vice President and General Manager of Jack Daniel Production. This is my 12th year of judging the Jack. And I swear you'll never have, you'll never taste anything bad at the Jack. It's all good. Thank y'all very much. Craig Grahaga, the Barbecue Ninja here. Um, just had the Chef's Choice slash Homeland dish here at the uh, uh, the Jack, and I tell you, it, it was uh, it was all around great dishes. Um, it, you know, I had a uh, here we have a uh, uh, this is grits and a fillet in the middle. Um, as you can see, uh, the steak was excellently cooked. Um, cooked to perfection. Um, this was uh, like a, a fried potato on the bottom almost with uh, a little bit of beef steak in the middle and it had some crab on top. So uh, it was a good bite. I, I really enjoyed the texture because um, the, the, the potato on the bottom was crunchy. Um, this, this had gotten a little bit cold. This was a spinach and, and it kind of you know hardened up a little bit, got a little cold. And then our last dish was this right here as you can see when you open the top it is like a shank in there I say like a shank it is a shank and uh, it's got risotto in the bottom and uh, so it the vehicle was great it kept it warm so it was a good entry also how was tomorrow what now how was tomorrow did you dig down uh, I did I did and that was the best part of that it really was
I'm Bill with Wee Willies. We have the uh, home uh, home chef category. The uh, the fillet and the grits were phenomenal. And the creativity on the uh, on the beef shank was also very delicious. Hi, Leanne Whippin, Chef's Choice. I always love this because it's very creative. Um, so this was the coolest presentation because when you opened it, the smoke came billowing out. But I must say, it did not get into the flavor of the meat. The bone marrow is outstanding with fresh garlic. I wish they had put the garlic more into the meat. Um, I like the different textures of the potato pancake layered with the beef and, and the lump crab meat. They put a bechamel on top. And then um, it, it was complemented with cream spinach, which had a lot of Parmesan. It was delicious. I will say I really enjoyed the cheese grits with the homemade uh, brown gravy and the filet. But the filet was a little tight. Um, I had a tough time cutting into it. Overall, outstanding and really enjoy the creativity and all the different flavors, and I wish them a lot of luck. Oh, hey, this is E.T. I'm the uh, U.S. brand ambassador for Jack Daniels. Just ate some delicious chicken and also realized I did not wear stretchy enough pants. <laughs> Was it any good? Delicious, yeah. We had some great food so far. Um, the uh, I, I don't tell you. I mean, when you get to this level, I think every you're starting at great, and you're only getting a little bit greater, maybe. So, looking forward to the next round. That's good. Hi, I'm Alan Bunch, uh, first time judge, so this is all new to me. I'm in from Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, everything was great. Some of it was a little bit above the rest of it, so uh, but uh, I enjoyed all of the food that was presented so far. You saved room for dessert. Uh, I've been warned by this gentleman beside me that I need to be careful about. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give him that. <laughs> that I need to save room. So yeah, I'm trying to pace myself. All right. There you go. Chris, you're up. Uh, what, what are we up, up doing? What? Who you are? Where we are? What you? Talking about the war in New Zealand. <laughs> hey everybody, Chris Lilly, Big Bob, ah. Hey everybody, Chris Lilly, Big Bob Gibson Barbecue in Decatur, Alabama, and I traveled about an hour and thirty minutes north to come to Lynchburg, Tennessee. I'm hanging out with my good friends at Jack Daniel's World Championship Cook-Off. I'm not cooking this weekend though. I'm sitting at the judges' table and I'm eating good. We just got through with some chicken, some sweet, sweet chicken. Uh, my favorite so far has been the cook's choice or the cooking from the homeland. We had an absolutely beautiful dish. I'm happy to be here. Beautiful weather, good friends, and hanging out at the Jack. Hey, never done it. Well, you gotta live up to that. I know. I was. That, that's going to be a really tough act to follow. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Lunsford. I'm here from Nashville, Tennessee. I am a food writer for USA Today, and I'm here to eat as many ribs as I can possibly fit. <laughs> we tried the chicken already, and we tried uh, the home cooking category already, and so far so good. Everything's just been absolutely fantastic. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Isaiah House out of Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, judged uh, 78 contests. It's my first time at the Jack and we just finished the chicken and I believe everything was good. I didn't see a fault in any of them. I enjoyed them all. All right, you're back from cleanup. Back from cleanup. My name's Myron Mixon and we just finished <laughs> judging the chicken category hey, again. <laughs> fantastic turn-ins. Haven't seen a seven yet today. I mean, this is just great food from great cooks. Wish you were here. Smell a vision. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stephanie Wilson. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm at the 33rd annual Jack Daniels World Invitational Barbecue Championship. I just got done eating ribs and judging ribs, not eat, well, you know. And the caliber of cooks is unbelievable. The ribs that we had today, there were a lot of stars on this plate, and uh, hopefully one of them will be the last name called today. I'm Henry Rothenberg from Nashville, Tennessee, here at the Jack Daniels World Barbecue Invitational at the 33rd, and just got done with ribs. They were phenomenal. 
I cannot imagine what it's like for the folks having to score up everything to truly figure out a winner because all of these are amazing. But uh, cheers to uh, all the chefs and here's hoping your team wins. Hi, I'm Tony Moskal from Meridian, Mississippi. This is my 12th year judging here at the Jack. Uh, we just got done doing ribs, which is one of my favorite categories because almost everyone is near perfect compared to anything I cook at home. Hey, it's Brian Godsey from Capshaw, Alabama, just down the road. Um, I love uh, judging. I love the camaraderie. Uh, that's why we do this. So good luck, everyone. Hello, I'm Jonathan Brody from Memphis, Tennessee, and here at the Jack Daniels for the 33rd uh, year event. And this is absolutely the most fantastic barbecue contest there is on the planet. And I'm the most fortunate person to get invited to do it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Myron Berry, Florence, Alabama, and uh, we're judging it today at the Jack and we're judging ribs and uh, fantastic uh, day, fantastic view from all the people surrounding and uh, very good day at the Jack. Thank you all very much. I'm Tina Nicholson, uh, live from the Jack. Um, from Winchester, Tennessee, and we just fin finished our pork round, and it was all delicious. Had my favorite, and um, everybody's doing a great job today. All right, she did good. My turn, huh? Hi, I'm Grilling Fool Greg Thomas from near the St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, I'm here at the Jack for the first time, and I've been served some wonderful food, but uh, I'm really picking out on these crackers they have here that are free. It's really great. You ought to try them. I'm Nick DiMario from the University of Alabama. Uh, just ama amazing port today and uh, sitting next to a legend here. Me too, I'm looking for him. My name's Paul Kirk, I'm from Kansas City. Uh, this year's barbecue has been much better than the last two years. Uh, everything well, we've had. the year before last. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. That, I lost. I lost at least 30 pounds at, on that one. Eating air. Uh, enjoy the dad, Jack. Love coming back every year. Going to keep it up, hopefully. Thank you, sir. I'm Craig Tabor from Atlanta, Georgia. Ate the greatest barbecue on planet Earth. Chef Paul Kirk. I'm Christy Lee, and levels. I had the best time today. It was awesome, and I'm from Cookville, Tennessee. Course, Tony Stone, legend. Those are all uh, Dale Kilgore from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, had first time judge here. Love it. Absolutely can't wait to come back. Roll that. All right. I'm Dave Brown from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm my uh, fifth Jack that I'm judging today. Always have a good time, good food, and look forward to coming back. Brad Jaffa here from New York by way of London, England. Uh, do I have any brisket in my beard? No? Yeah. I do, yeah. I do. Maybe a little pulled pork. I was saving that for later, um, but this is absolutely magical. Each bite, I can't really talk about it right now because, you know, NDAs and everything, but it's been spectacular. Uh, loved every moment of it. Great company. The camaraderie is as good as the barbecue, which is really saying something, even being next to this guy. So thanks so much for having us, Jack, and uh, hope to come back many more times in the future. Hey, Mark, good to see you. Uh, we just ate some brisket, really nice choices. It's amazing how good these guys are anymore. You know, when I started coming here 25 years ago, half the people didn't even know how to cook a brisket or where to get one. And there was some bad brisket showing up at the table. Nowadays, every brisket's cooked. It's really splitting hairs trying to score them. You know, everything looks perfect, and most of them taste just great. So it's really a treat, and it's hard to figure out which is the winner. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Thomas, I'm the Grillin' Fool. Uh, I'm at the Jack in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and I ate some of the most incredible, not just barbecue, desserts, the, the open category. It was absolutely incredible. Blown away. Okay. I'm Brian Morris from Hattie B's. We're at the Jack Daniel World Barbecue Invitational. We just had the best food this side of heaven. Oh, my God. This side of heaven. Yeah, the best. Maybe on the other side, too. <laughs> Hello, yes, my name's Quincy Jackson. 
And let me tell you, I just experienced the, one of the best experiences here at the Jack Invitational. I mean, uh, gee, from just about every bite, I was enthused. So, needless to say, I'm going to need crane service. It was great. Uh, almost. <laughs> what are we doing? Who uh, y'all where we are? What's your Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm Sunny Booty from Nashville, Tennessee, and I ate a lot of meat <laughs> and some awesome desserts. Okay. Hey, it's Chef Michael from Certified Angus Beef here at the Jack, the World Championships. Just got finished with our dessert course. <laughs> we are stuffed. A lot of meat and culminating with the best, best dessert, but we have the best table at the Jack, table two. Our other guy's not here. Let's continue the conversation. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Glad you're here. Yeah. Who you are? Who you are? Where you are? What we eat? Ken Potts. I'm with uh, Haas Automation. I had a great day. I've had a lot of wonderful food. The dessert just topped it all off. Thanks, Sean.